<sighs> well, I did do it. Uh, I finally beat uh, fear. Uh, first con first contact uh, assault recon. Uh, this is actually my second time beating this game. Uh, I did beat this when I had it the first time. I think I actually may have beaten the second one too, but I'm not sure. Um, obviously not this time, but the, the first time. Um, and I know the third one is a complete blur to me. Um, I don't even remember playing it, but let's talk about this one. So this one is very much a uh what would come off try to be a horror shooter uh, not as good as condemned or a few of the other horror shooters that i've played but still not bad the game itself is uh actually not all that scary um in the game you do have a few things that are flashing lights and screaming and there's like ghosts talking to you from one side to the other but then you end up having these long periods of time where you're just shooting bad guys and this is actually kind of where the game shines because the bad guys are actually not mindless drones mindless uh characters that do the same thing every time yes you will have those characters or villains or whatnot they just stand there but most of the time you literally have to try to outthink the enemy and that's actually one of the things i really liked about this game is this game it's it it wasn't in a way easy uh i died several several times um i'm not gonna lie i'm actually pretty good at uh or I should say pretty decent at uh, FPS's. So when I started this, I thought it was going to be pretty easy. Just take out a few characters, get to the storyline, take out a few more characters. And it was that, but it was rather difficult um, because the characters do act in some ways like real, uh, real uh, life human beings. And that's actually kind of one of the cool things about it. Um, one of the things I did come across quite near the end is just the simple fact that I was running out of ammo. Uh, luckily for the last encounter, when you encounter your uh, spoiler mother, um, you you they give you a fixed amount of ammo and three guns, and you have to you know defend yourself using those they give you plenty of health packs that was another thing that was kind of sparse in the game uh if you knew where to look this the health packs were um you know at least decent um decently spread out through the game and then they had these things that were called stim packs or not it looked like a a uh, ether gun from bioshock um, that the little sisters had and you come in and you inject yourself and some part of you whether it's your ability to slow down time or whatnot would actually get longer um to be honest i don't believe that actually had any effect on the game uh maybe it was just because i was enjoying the the story the atmosphere of the game but the the actual like stim packs i don't know if you could actually beat the game without them but i'd be willing to try uh because i don't i don't think you really need them or they're really that involved um you know i i don't know i don't know i thought it was a very interesting game the story is pretty generic you know what's coming but it's it's fun and like I said, at the very beginning, even the cutscenes or like the ghost talking or the all the story of that weren't really all that scary. But by the end, I was kind of getting the vibe of the game and I was like in that little tingle on the back of my neck. And, and every time you heard like the music start changing or you heard a little bit of static, you knew something was coming. And there was some actually decent uh, spine chillers. 
I won't say jump scares, but spine chillers, it's like where you get that little feeling up your spine. That's pretty much what this entire game is. Again, really fun, really enjoyable. Um, uh, nothing like too super scary if you're if you're chicken uh, or you don't like horror games. This may not be the game for you, but if you if you're wanting to break into it, I'd start with this one. It's actually uh, pretty simple, pretty enjoyable. Um, I will say that my only complaint is some of the weapons didn't work as well as one would hope. Um, I know there was actually a scoped uh, rifle that, that was supposed to be acting like a sniper rifle or something. It was horrible. Um, I did not like that. And I kept, uh, I admit, uh, the setup, which I probably could have changed. Uh, I kept throwing grenades because I'm used to holding the left trigger and aiming while that threw the grenade. Um, one of the things I did like is the different types of grenades and the different types of weapons. There was, if you weren't good with one, you would have to get better with it, but they, they, there was plenty of other ones that were really enjoyable. Probably one of my favorite is, um, I don't know what it was called, but it was like a, a plasma rifle or whatnot. And it literally shot like a bolt of lightning and it dissolved the person down to the skeleton. So you would see like, everything else getting burnt off but the skeleton would be there and it was a flash of blue uh that thing worked better than the scoped for sniper rifle so really enjoyed that i don't think i'm going to go through the second or third one um anytime soon i think there's a few other games that i want to get into i haven't yet decided what i'm going to pick out uh from my collection i'll probably do that tonight just give it a real hard um sorry uh think and uh pick something but i will let you guys know in probably my uh, next uh, video game uh haul uh or double down challenge what i decide to go with but yeah uh fear if you're looking for this uh if you're wanting to play this game it's actually not that bad i think it's only around 20 bucks it is a fun game. There are three of them, so that it is a series. Um, each one, from what I remember, better than the next. Like I said, I don't remember the third one too well. And each one, you know, not terribly scary, but definitely pretty creepy. Well, guys, that is it. That is my uh, my latest review for a video game. I think this is our, actually a third. Um, so uh, I'm, I'll let you know what I'm going to play, and uh, hopefully you guys have a good day. Let me know what you're currently playing in the comments below, and uh, give me the uh, uh, any recommendations of games that are uh, currently not really expensive, but pretty easy to find. Um, let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.